Hi, this is Justin Michelson back here at Native Foods Nursery. This video today is to show you how to plant your bare root plants that you order from us. The first will be how to plant it in the ground, the second in a pot, and the third how to store it in sawdust until it's ready to plant outside. So if you order your bare root plants in a climate where you can plant them right away, the best thing is to put them right in the ground when you get them. When you receive them, they'll be in burlap and in sawdust. To remove them from that packaging, find a nice sunny day like this and go ahead and find a planting spot. When you find your spot, you'll dig a hole that's a little bit deeper than the roots on the bare root plant. So this here is a black cap raspberry bare root, one of our more popular plants you can find on our website. And this is a particularly big one, healthy one with long roots. Ideally you want a hole where those roots can dangle pretty freely. They aren't bound up. So I've taken my digging shovel and dig, dug a hole that was actually twice, at least twice as big as uh, the main width of the plant. Also a hole that's a little bit deeper than I need. And what I like to do is put a little compost in the bottom. By digging a little bit deeper, you loosen up the soil underneath where the roots are going to be growing to. By putting a little compost in the bottom, you encourage them to grow even deeper so that plant establishes itself and will be less maintenance for you in the future. So I've dug a hole, it's a little bit bigger, a little deeper, put a little compost in the bottom. I'm going to dangle the plant over the hole and I'm trying to line up the soil line from where it was dug on our end um, with the soil line that you find in your yard. So that's usually identified by a change in coloration between the top of the root and the bottom of the stem here. So you can see pretty clearly this plant will create underground buds. That's what you're seeing here. We're going to try to find that same spot. And if we err on the side of anything, we want to err on the side of too high. Uh, we don't want to bury it too deep. A lot of plants, when you bury their crown, will just rot. I'm going to hold it in here and just gently uh, place soil around it. I'm going to firm it in. When we water it in later, it'll uh, com compress and compact a little bit more. That should be enough for now. Feel pretty good about that. Then the next step is how to make sure this plant is lower maintenance uh, for the rest of the season. One of the easiest ways to do that is with what's called sheet mulch. So, from boxes you get from the grocery store or from, um, from different dumpsters or wherever you can find cardboard, newspaper also works. You can lay it out around the base of your plant. I want to give a little gap around the stem here. Again, we don't want to be right up against it and have the mulch up against it and have it rot. That's another reason why you, know, you can air on the side of it being too high, pulling it, the plant up too much uh, or more than you might otherwise because we're going to be putting mulch around it. So I'll put a little cardboard around it. And this is going to suppress a lot of the weeds uh, or the grasses. If you have a lawn, you can do this uh, over the grass in your lawn. And you can make this a little bit um, more circular or custom if you want. I'm just going to show you the basic concept. And then here I'm going to be using some bark. But you can use uh, wood chips, sawdust, hay, or straw. So I'm just going to make sure the cardboard is completely covered with bark so that the cardboard breaks down and water can still eventually get through it here. This is also going to hold uh, heat in the soil, it's going to hold moisture in the soil. 
This is called sheet mulching. Now you can also really clearly tell where that plant is in the landscape and uh, won't forget about it, have it overgrow with weeds. So that's the basics of how to plant a bare root plant that you receive from us in the ground. Next I'll show you what you can do if it's not ready to go outside or if you plan to uh, grow this plant out in a pot on your porch or, or inside. So now I'll show folks how to plant a bare root plant from us in a pot. Now this may seem like a straightforward thing. And you would do this in the case that you either wanted to continually grow these plants on a porch or inside, or for those folks who we ship to who are in a colder climate, I may not have thawed out yet outside. So you just need to keep this plant maybe on a south uh, facing windowsill uh, for the time being until you can plant it outside. So one of the main things that people forget to do here is put the plant in a pot that's gonna be big enough for it for at least a few months, if not longer. So just as we did with the hole, making sure that the roots can dangle freely down in the pot. Secondly, a mistake people make is not using a potting soil that has enough uh, coarse material in it. Now we use almost 80% bark in our mixes. Now when plants are in pots, they need a lot of extra drainage because they don't have access to the ambient airflow and water flow that moves through uh, the, the earth, the soil. And so you need extra either pumice or bark uh, to allow the water to keep moving. Otherwise, this plant will rot pretty quickly. If you just take your native soil out of the backyard and put it in a pot, it's going to compact, compress, and it's going to be too tight for it. So finding a good potting soil from the store, that's has coarse material, largely bark or pumice, sand, uh, something that's gonna be well drained is super important. And then just like we did in the hole, you're gonna be holding that plant with one hand while with the other just filling in around it. Just letting the weight of the soil uh, compact itself for now. I'm going to fill it all the way to the top and then I'm going to compress from there. End up with just a little bit uh, below the lip of the pot. The soil line just a little bit below there so that when I water it, it's still going to be able to hold water within there. Of course, it's in your, if it's in your house or on your porch, you want a uh, uh, holder to put it in to catch the excess water. But this will essentially keep it um, until you need to put it outside or you could grow it on here for a year or two more. All right, thank you. So now I'm gonna show you about how to take care of bare root by placing them temporarily in sawdust or leaves or another medium. This is called healing in. So we do this when, again, like with the pot, if you're in a colder climate, you can't or don't want to put it outside quite yet. You can go ahead and store it in sawdust for a few weeks to a month before you transfer it outside. Now, if the climate is not too cold, you can do this outside temporarily. So, for example, when I get plants, often I'm not quite ready to plant them that day. I wanna hold them for a few days. So you can do that outside, and then eventually, after you've determined where exactly you're going to place it, put it in the ground then. Also, you have the option of putting it in a pot like this and putting it in a dark space, dark cool space like a garage. For up to a month as well. So if you're going to place it outside, you can make a trough in the sawdust or in the material that you have and just laying down the bare root. Again, trying to tend to where that uh, line is between the root and the shoot. Here it's pretty obvious with these where the shoots are coming out. So I'm just placing that right at the top of this crest. And if I have a bunch of bare root, I can just lay them all out like this and then go ahead and cover the, uh, the roots up, just like that. And this will insulate it from cold. You can put even more on if you want it to be even more insulated. Uh, it'll also keep it moist, keep those roots happy until it's time to put them out.
outside. Now if I was going to do this in a pot, very similar concept. Laying it, you know, I might have a whole bunch around the rim like this, laying it out in the pot. Go ahead once again, covering up the roots. Might place that in my garage and just wait until I'm ready to plant or the weather's good enough to plant. These are blue elderberries, one of the more popular native plants that we sell here at Native Foods Nursery. You can find out more about this plant, about the hazelnut, uh, about any of the plants that we sell online at nativefoodsnursery.com. And you can also go to the planting and design page for more instructions like this. Have a wonderful season.